All right, hey guys. Um, for today's application problem, it's module five, lesson 11, and you're gonna need to be on page 79 in your practice book. So please pause me if you need to and get to page 79. We're gonna go about it the exact same way we did yesterday and we'll continue doing that moving forward. So first things first, I will read through the problem together and then you will pause it, read it again, and then circle your clue words on the third read. Mrs. Golden wants to cover her 6.5 foot by 4 foot bulletin board with silver paper that comes in one inch squares or one foot squares. How many squares does Mrs. Golden need to cover her bulletin board? Will there be any fractional pieces of silver paper left over? Hmm. All right, go ahead and pause and do the read and the circle. Okay, so now I'm gonna read through it again and I'm going to this time really think about the problem and circle anything I find to be important, really think through what's going on. So it says, Mrs. Golden wants to cover her 6.5 foot by four foot bulletin board. So I'm just gonna kind of think about that sentence real quick. If I'm a teacher, which I am, and I have a bulletin board, we've all seen bulletin boards in the classroom. So we're picturing a big rectangle, right? Um, and it says that it's 6.5 feet by 4 feet. 6.5. So I'm just going to think about that number. 4 is a whole number, easy, but 6.5 is a little different. So I'm just going to kind of think through what is 6.5 mean. 6.5 is the same as 6.5. So I'm going to keep that in mind as I go through this. Remember, that's like a fractional, a fraction decimal. Mrs. Golden wants to cover her 6.5 foot or six and a half foot by four foot bulletin board, okay? With silver paper that comes in one foot squares. Okay, so I'm thinking about tiling, I'm thinking about all of that. How many squares does Mrs. Golden need to cover her bulletin board? Will there be any fractional pieces of silver paper left over? Ooh, so looking at this, I'm seeing two question marks. See, we're not going to be just answering one thing today. We're going to be answering two things when we write our final um, RDWRW portion. Okay, so now we're going to do the exact same thing again as we did yesterday. You're going to draw aligned on your paper. You're going to write me and us. You're going to pause the video. You're going to complete as much of it as you can on the me side. Maybe you get all the way through the W. Maybe you don't. Get as far as you can and then unpause and we will solve it together over here and see if we match up. Before you get started, I want you to really think about what we were doing yesterday mm -hmm. in that because this is very similar. All right, so you should have tried to solve it on your own. If you haven't, please pause and take the time to do that. All right, here we go. It says, Mrs. Golden wants to cover her 6.5 or 6.5 foot by four foot bulletin board with silver paper that comes in one foot squares. So I love to draw my visual, I'm gonna start there. I'm going to draw, you might hear Charlie squeaking in the background, it's almost dinner. I'm going to draw a bulletin board. Okay. And it says that this bulletin board is 6.5, but I'm used to using fractions, so I think I'm going to put six and a half. Thinking about what we did yesterday, <laughs> that means that I'm going to put six here. And And I like to tile it because that's just how I like to do my math. So I'm going to tile six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And my half piece is huge. Is it okay if I adjust this picture? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to erase this part and make just a little chunk. 
That little chunk shows six and a half feet by four feet. So I'm going to label this side four feet. Oops, I forgot my units here. I should always have my units. I'm going to early in the crate and I'll be right back. Sorry, teaching from home can be a little distracting, and now there's both. All right, so we did our six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a half, and now we have four by four feet. So I'm going to tile that into four, one, two, three, four. So now we can think about it like we did yesterday. This is kind of like an area model. We do our four times our six and our four times our one half. So four times six equals 24, mm -hmm. and that'll be feet squared. And then I need to do four times one half, which equals four over two, which equals two feet squared. Add it together, that is 26 feet squared. Now let's look at that and make sure that that's accurate with our tiling. So if I'm counting, I can count my tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then here, that two halves make one whole, so 25 and 26. So my visual and my math check out. They fit together. So am I done? Well, no, I haven't done my right, and I don't know that I really answered the question. So let me reread the entire thing through and see what else needs to be done. Mrs. Golden wants to cover her 6.5 foot by 4 foot bulletin board with silver paper that comes in 1 foot squares. How many squares does Mrs. Golden need to cover her bulletin board? That was what we've answered with this math. Will there be any fractional pieces of silver paper left over? Well, if we look at our answer here, is there a fractional piece in our answer? No. So there will not be any fractional pieces left over. So for our right, we need to come up with a sentence. I like to start with the question and change it into a sentence start. Mrs. Golden needs, Mrs. Golden needs 26, 26 squares to cover her bulletin board. There will be no fractional pieces left. All right, that's the application problem for today. I'm sorry that Charlie was squeaking. Um, I guess that means it's time to feed him. <laughs>